I had a whole man, a whole existing man. I don't know when I when I used to be around Tony, I forgot about the whole man. It's like man who. Hi officials and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shanice Louis and welcome. Here on my channel, all of my lovely subscribers are called my officials. To become an official, all you need to do is just smash that subscribe button and there you go. Period. I've not done a story time in a while, but I've done story time. So this one is going to be added to the story time list and this one is going to be a little a little spicy a little hot okay so this video is about a time where i was in the club and i had like i had two guys in the club at the same time y'all let me tell you that night was a night to remember so it all started when <laughs> so many years ago i wouldn't say many years because i'm not i'm old but i'm not that old so a few years ago many years ago um there was a group of us we used to work together right so we went out to clubs a lot now there was this one guy in the group and we we're going to call him i should have thought of names like ahead of time you know but we want to call him tony I choose Tony because I don't know any Tony. So Tony was kind of part of our group. However, he never really used to go out. Now, before I continue, let me just put in a disclaimer. You are going to hear background noises like vehicles passing because I live near the road. And I have my window here wide open for a circulation. So, yes. Moving along. So Tony never really went out with us before however tony and i we spoke all the time right um let's just let's 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 we spoke all the time we sp hang out we spent time together and um there was mutual interest however it was never acted upon okay and here is why i had a whole man a whole existing man I don't know when I when I used to be around Tony I forgot about the whole man it's like man who anyways <sighs> I never I didn't cheat with Tony and we're gonna call a whole man um, Roy so Roy is the man Tony is the little boo okay so that night no that time we we're planning to go out the Friday night it was a Friday night so um i don't know like tony was like a mama's boy to say the least and it was really difficult for him to come out even if like he was grown he left school we were working and all of that but somehow we had to ask if tony could come with us so i can't remember who asked if it was me or i can't remember but we had to ask if anybody watching this and they know this story don't just leave it as that. Just enjoy the video and don't say a word. Just leave it as that, okay? Um, so, Tony got the, you know, the green light to go out with us and stuff. So, boom. So, I say, yeah. We're going out with Tony. So, Friday comes and my whole boo, which is Roy. Roy works the night shift most of the time. Right? So, Roy is scheduled for work. I told Roy I'm going out with my friends, my co-workers and stuff. And he was like, okay, like where you're going to and stuff. Now I'm somebody, I see where I'm going. Just in case shit were to go south, like something happens. Because I know, trust me, Roy will pull up for me. Roy will burst shots for me. And bodies will drop for me. Alright? Alright. So, I tell Roy, I think, I don't give too much info, but... If you're from St. Lucia, or if you've heard of St. Lucia, you all know about the Grizzly Street Party that happens on Friday nights before COVID. So, that's where we went. And they were supposed to have an after party at a club in Rodney Bay. So, we went there right through now. 
Tony is no not Tony Roy Roy is the guy right and Tony is the boo so my guy at the time Roy he's texting me right through you know I'm asking him how is work going he's asking me how is you know the vibe going and stuff lo and behold we were having a good time and and Roy kept asking me where me where me where me and I'm like why the, why is Roy asking me where me so Roy told me like he's leaving work or whatever and I'm like okay anyway moving along I stopped texting because that wasn't my agenda for the night and that was not my speed my speed was Tony so after that we went to the after party and stuff now I have a good friend we're still friends good friends till this day um we're going to name her um Sue. No, we can't name her Sue. We're going to name her Rose. Rosie. Rosie. Okay, her name is Rosie. So apparently Roy and I were together. Rosie and Roy's cousin were together. However, they worked at the same place. My god. So what a mess. So apparently they left work. They made somebody work their shift for them and doing to me. I didn't know. I felt like I could have I was out living. So and which at the club. The club is hot, you know. We have an a next friend that's there with us. We're going to name her Lisa. So Lisa knew the bartender, so we basic we just getting free drinks because you know the bartender free us up all night. And it was like a group of I would say around 10 or 11 of us was a big group and you know Lisa is getting us the drinks so I'm here dancing whining catching a vibe with Tony right now um Susie is right next to me catching a vibe on you know somebody I don't know I can't remember who it was so I, at that point, I was, I wouldn't say I was drunk, but I was getting there. Now, I know my limit. I was at my limit at that point. But I was in all my senses. I just felt like something was going to happen, but I was enjoying myself. I didn't care. So I'm there, you know, real, um, arched. You know, taking a little bubble on Tony. So, um, uh, I'm feeling Susie hitting my leg, hitting my leg pulling my leg right so when I watch I lift up my head I know I'm Roy is behind me Roy has this certain shoe in his feet but I'm seeing that same shoe coming towards me but it looks familiar because I know that shoe so I'm like I just slide away both Susie and I because <sighs> Tony and his cousin entered the club they were at the club when they were supposed to be at work, you, I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. So I just slid away because he didn't have time to see me. He didn't know how I was dressed. He didn't know what he was looking for. So boom, we slide away, and we slide away, we slide around, and we came back. Like not came back, but we went to them, but from an opposite direction. So I'm like, oh, how come she's not at work? Oh, I gave my coworker to work my shift I'm like you give your co-worker to just ruin my my night to just ruin my life the fuck you I was so irritated I was so annoyed it's like so I was just there dancing with Roy to just you know make the speed not look so obvious um and I was really upset you know honestly I just wanted to go home and because it's like we were there enjoying ourselves all of us are friends including tony and all of my other co-workers we are friends it's not like i had anything going on with tony it's just that we were really close friends and we had feelings for each other basically so um after a while i slide out on on roy and um there was there's like a beach there's a distance, you walk a distance and there's like a beach, like a really dark beach area there. That's when you could have gone to these places safely. So, um, Tony and I, we went there. 
Mind you, I don't know if you are keeping up, but Tony is the little boo, not my the guy I was with. So Tony and I went there, we were talking and stuff, and Tony was like, like, what was that about and stuff like that. So I was like, that's something I don't want to talk about. Um, I feel like I'm being stalked and all kind of stuff. Now I said I just didn't want to like explain because it's not like I. Okay, everybody knew I was with Roy. Um, but it's not something I mentioned to Tony, it's not something I speak about because in all honesty, Roy had to go. I wish he had gone from that time. But anyways, like we were talking and whatever, whatever. And I feel like I spent so much time with Roy and I feel like his, his speed was slow. I wouldn't say like I'm a fast paced person but his speed was kind of slow. It's like the feelings were there and whatever, whatever, but the speed was slow. But that night, I don't know what took over Roy, but we had a kiss. Like, it's a little mm, first kiss. That was the first, that was the last. <laughs> because, I don't know, things just went up after that. Like, I didn't want to deal with the drama. So, um, after that, we walked back into the club i went first and then roy came but tony was like oh where you come from whatever whatever i'm looking for you everywhere and um where you come from damon i'm like damon who first of all i came out with my friends and you're ruining my, my night <laughs> you're like so trifling and you're ruining my my night that's what you're doing you're ruining my night so time passed time passed by and since they came to track both of them Susie and I, we left. I mean, we literally, when we go out in a group, we like have this, we hire a bus because it's a group of us and we go home, we get there that way and we get back home that way. So it's like, I already paid my way back home and it's like, you all just come on hostage people. Now we kind of stranded, kind of not by the road in Rodney Bay trying to get a bus the fuck to go back home and i'm like what what can make this night worse you i was so upset eh? it's like i could have just tell um roy you know what if you live your life allow me to live my life and just leave me where you found me you should have fucking stayed at work period so that was your luck don't don't do that <laughs> That's not something I would do again. I don't do that anymore. That was just a one time occurrence. Um, Roy and I, we don't really, we don't, I wouldn't say we speak. Um, Tony and I, no, Tony and I, I wouldn't say that we speak, but we still remain friends. When we see each other, we acknowledge each other. Um, Roy and I are not together. It's been many, many years. Fuck Roy. Um, like if he see me, he acknowledges me. I might acknowledge him back or whatever. But we we not on, we we're not friends. We have no friendship. We have no relationship going on. Um, now it's just a horrible relationship to be in. It was good at first, like every other relationship. But when people doing stuff like that, that's a red flag, and you need to go. I mean, even if I was on some. It could be trifling shit because I had an interest in Tony, but it wasn't like a relationship. I wasn't pursuing a relationship or anything. We were just cool. Right? So that was it for my little whole story time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye!